Okay, I drew a line across mine and we're going to do seven examples. Here's example number one. Okay, so looking at A12s, what they have in common that both of the, the a number that will go into both of these is the number four. Four goes into both of these. Matter of fact, this one here, eight is four times two, and twelve is four times three. And notice how the fours reduce. Four goes in there once, four goes in there once, and you're just left with two thirds. See that I found the greatest common factor for both of these. Here's example two. We're trying to reduce this to simplest form. So 14 and 20, is there a number that will go into both of them? The largest number you can think of. How about the number two? Two will go into both 14 and 20. Two times seven is 14. Two times 10 is 20. And notice that uh, two will go into both of these, one and one, right? And so you're just left with seven over 10. So number three, 28 over 35. What number do they have in common? What's the largest number they have in common? I think the number seven. Seven will go into both of them. Matter of fact, this is seven times four. And 35 is 7 times 5. And so we can see that 7s can cancel, reduce. 7 goes in there once, 7 goes in there once. And you're just left with 4 over 5. We can do the same thing with variables. a squared over a to the third. Okay, so what we'll do is, well, a squared I know is a times a. a to the third is three of those. And so let's see what we have. Well, a will go into a, right? a goes in here once and a goes in here once. So it's like these cancel each other out in a sense. a goes in here once, a goes in there once. And so what are we, we're done with that. What are we left on top? One times one is one. And on the bottom, 1 times 1 times A is just the letter A. Because 1 times anything is anything. That's why 1 times A is just A. And so there's our answer. I'm running out of, my ro out of room, so I'm just going to draw a line and start back up here at the top. Number 5, we have B over the letter B, C. Let's see what they have in common on top and the bottom. I can use it. We have a B. B will go into both of these once and once. And that's all I can do. So what do I have left on the top? Just a 1. And on the bottom, I have 1 times C. That's just the letter C. Here's number 6. Okay, on the top I have 3 times A times B and B, okay? Because there's two Bs. B squared is B times B. If you don't want to put the dots between them, you don't have to. And then over here I have 12. Well, 12 is just 3 times 4, right? Because 3 goes into both of those. And then I have an A and a C. Okay, so I broke this down into basically factors. So now what do they have in common? Or what can I get rid of? Well, I, they both have threes. Three goes in there once, three goes in there once. And I have A's. Now if you like to, you can do this. Okay, and that's one, one. And that is it. So what am I left with on top? I just have B squared because there's two of them. 
And on the bottom, I have a 4 and I have a C. Now, if you wanted to put a 1 here, say 1B squared, you can do that, but it's, it's unnecessary. Okay, I said we'll do 7, but actually we'll do 8, so we'll do one more after this. Okay, so first let's break this down. Uh, 6 and 2, 2 will go into both of those. So we have uh, 2 times 3, that's 6. X a third, that's 3X's. And then I have uh, a Z, a Y and a Z. Rats, running out of room here. Then I have, uh, on the bottom here, I have a 2. I have two X's, two Y's, and, and a one Z. Okay, so that's what I'm left with here. Okay, so let's see if we can reduce things. So we have, let's see, I have a twos, right? You know what, I'm just gonna do this. One and one. I have uh, an X right here, one and one because X goes in there once and it goes in there once. Here's another one, another pair, top and bottom. Uh, I have a pair of Y's, top and bottom, and Z's. Okay, so let's see what we have left. On the top, I have a three, and I have an X. On the bottom, I have Looks like just the letter Y. And that's our answer. Okay, this is the last example. So let's see, I have 8 and 24. Uh, 8 will go into both of those. So, you know, I have, this is 8 times 3, and this is just 8. We'll just leave it like that. Then I have A squared on top, so that's A times A. And I have a B. And then on the bottom, I have A and B. So let's reduce things. 8 goes into both of those once. Um, here's an A, A and an A, so that's a 1, A goes in there once, A goes in there once, and then a B, you know, I'll just do this, 1 and 1. So what are we left with? We're left with, on top, we have a 3 and an A. And on the bottom, I'm left with nothing, or you could say 1 if you wanted to, but, because 1 times 1 times 1 is 1, but that really is just 3A.